Mary Dawn with MD's Kindle channel. Don't forget, follow along on YouTube. Subscribe, like, and share. Hit the boop alert button so you know what's going on all week long. Follow us on Instagram and please like and follow us on Facebook. You're going to get all sorts of cool content and bonus videos. Cheers, guys. Hey everybody and welcome to my virtual happy hour here at MD's Gin Mill channel, live on Facebook and streaming live on YouTube right now. What are you guys drinking? I am having a little cerveza in honor of Cinco de Mayo. But before we get to that, let's see what Miss Judy Gaddett's doing. Hi Judy, how are you? You look so festive. <laughs> Oh, it's Cinco de Mayo. I have a little teeny sombrero right here. How cute. How cute. But it looks better on my little friend Paco the parrot over here. <laughs> he's got some Paco. avocados and some limes, and he's ready to go. Paco, Paco is cute. Here. How have you been? How was your week and weekend? Good. Oh, it was good. How about you? Very good. The weather is unmistakably beautiful. Absolutely, absolutely. I didn't. I I didn't see you yesterday. I looked for you. Maybe we missed each other. Oh, hi, Lila. Thank you very much. Yay! This is my Spanish outfit for Cinco de Mayo. Very festive. Were you out at the benefits over the weekend? Yes. Yeah. Shoot. Well, there was a lot of people out, so I was there too. I just. Uh, it was, it, was, it was crazy busy. Crazy busy. I mean, I I couldn't, I didn't, I got to like where they had a little beer stand and that was it, you know? I, I made I, my way I, to the bar. It took about 30 minutes to get a drink. <laughs> it was good. I, I, I hope they made a lot of money. It was for a good cause and, and that's awesome. Absolutely. Yes. So this Wednesday is Cinco de Mayo. It is. Yay! Oh, you know what? I used to have those little maracas that Corona gave out, you know? Oh, yeah, shake, shake, shake. <laughs> yeah. But this year is going to be a little different because there's no Corona. No Corona beer? No Corona beer. Wow. Well, everybody will just have to drink margaritas. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's Modelo. You can have a Modelo or you can have some other stuff. Um, True. There's Corona Draft, just not bottles. Um, there's Light and Premier, but the regular Corona Extra that everybody wants is, can't get it. Yeah. So, unfortunately, that's the way that's going to be. But, you know, Cinco de Mayo, everyone says, oh, it's the Mexican Independence Day, but it's not. It, okay. It, it is not. It is. And it's also not the old wives' tale, the urban legend that one night a large shipment of mayonnaise was making its way to Mexico and it was lost at sea and they call it Cinco de Mayo. <laughs> so that's not what it's about either. Well, I bet you're going to tell us what it's about. It was, it is, in observed to commemorate the Mexican army's victory over the French, sorry, Sandman, at the Battle of Puebla in 1862. Ah. So it's not their 4th of July. It's not their Independence Day. That's September 16th, actually. But that's what a lot of people think. Like, oh, Cinco de Mayo, it's their Independence Day. It's not. And it's not about mayonnaise. And it's not about mayonnaise. It's, and you know that way back then when that boat did sink with the mayonnaise, mayonnaise was like a rich people's thing. Like you could only get it if you were wealthy and you got the mayonnaise. Oh. Isn't that weird? That is weird. I, ugh, I don't even like that stuff. But so that was a big deal. And, you know, there are some fun facts. This is a really fun holiday. It's, it's, I feel like I only started hearing about it, you know, like in the mid 90s, you know, I didn't Ly that. Lila says it's still just another reason to drink. Don't forget that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So leave this one. Six hundred million dollars in beer is usually sold on Cinco de Mayo. Wow. And 
that outsells St. Patrick's Day and the Super Bowl. Wow, that's a I lot know. of beer. Hi, Sandy. Thank you very much. I think you bought me this dress. I can't remember. I think you did. Ah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I never could, I can't imagine that that much beer is sold on Cinco de Mayo, you know? You know, there you go. I bet you that probably more whiskey is sold on St. Patty's Day, right? Maybe. Um, Maybe. <laughs> well, they also say that the United States, our people will consume 127 million liters of tequila this Wednesday. Woo! Yep. And on Snapchat, the Taco Bell Taco Head Snapchat filter is like the most popular filter they do. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so, you guys, you got to put your taco head Snapchat filter on this Wednesday from your Snapchat and send it to us. Send us some pictures. We want to see you guys. Yeah. <laughs> but, oh, and get this. The United States will consume twice as much tequila as all of Mexico where it's produced. Wow. Isn't that weird? That's because we have a lot more people that are celebrating for a reason to drink, just like Lila said. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, Lila. I tell you. So, you know, there's some other fun stuff. There's also, you could do, I used to have a girlfriend named Sandy years ago. She loved having Bloody Marias. Oh, what is that? That is tequila, Bloody Mary with your tequila. Okay. So if you got your Zing Zang or whatever your favorite Bloody Mary mix is, or if you make it yourself, just add the tequila this Wednesday and you've got a Bloody Maria. Nice. I don't know. Might, might, might be good. I don't know. Yeah. Who knows? But guess what? New York State is finally opening up all Woo! the way. Good for and New York. Thank you. Finally, New York, May 17th, outdoor seating. It can be at 100%. And May 31st, indoor seating, 100%. And they can be open after midnight. And they don't have to order food with the drink. How stupid is that? That, that was a crazy, stupid rule. <laughs> Hi, Robin. How are you? Hi, Robin. Woo -woo. Happy belated birthday, Robin. But yeah, that rule is stupid, but it's over. By the end of this month, New York State will be back to normal. Hopefully, then they can start rebuilding all their disastrous mess of bars that their governor made. Yes. Good for you, New York. We're happy for you. Finally. Finally, finally, finally. So, there was also in near Lake Havasu, Arizona, it's called Chandler, Arizona. They used to have for Cinco de Mayo running of the Chihuahuas. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that's super cute. But they're not doing it this year. Ooh. Aww. So poor Chihuahuas can't run this year. But uh, what are you gonna do? Yeah. So I'm gonna make you guys a margarita in just a couple seconds. Of easy, made at home, simple margarita. So easy, my mother can do it. And I oh know my she's goodness. Watching. I know she's watching. She gets so mad when I say that, Judy. Does she? <laughs> <laughs> I figured she'd get more mad at the only my mother and Heather drink gin. <laughs> well, yeah, Heather, she should be watching. She's away on a birthday weekend. Happy birthday, Heather. Happy birthday, Heather. I know she's partying it up in St. Augustine. She might even be drinking a margarita. If you're watching, Heather, let us know what you're drinking. But there is some cool things happening. There's a contest. Budweiser, every year at their holiday, you know, around the holiday time, they've got the holiday cans that they produce for Budweiser, right? Yes. So they've got a contest going on, and I have a cute little picture here of it, and this is a call Pupweiser cans, okay? Pupweiser. How cute is that? So... These cans, all you have to do is upload a picture of your favorite puppy or dog or whatever. It has to be a dog, can't be a cat. And you send it in to us.budweiser.com. They are adorable. 
Yep, and you send in your puppy picture, and if you win, your puppy will be on the can for the Budweiser holiday cans this Christmas. Aww. So you guys, and get busy because it's 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 not much time left. So, like I said, us.budweiser.com, and you got a hashtag. It tells you puppy pick or something like that. So make sure you do that. And I know, Robin, I know you have an adorable little puppy, so get your dog on the Budweiser can. So that's a cool contest. And Snoop Dogg in the house again. What do we got? Remember Snoop with his, he's got his 19 Crimes wines. Yeah. Uh, remember his strawberry gin? Oh, yeah. It's called Indogo. This is him with his strawberry gin. In doggo. So he's got a contest also. So what his is, is he wants you to make a cocktail with his strawberry flavored gin. Send it in. You only have till like the 9th of May. So not very many days. In doggo, uh, that one you can get at chilledmagazine.com. Click on chilledmagazine.com. Then go to the Indago Snoop picture that you just saw. It gives you all the rules. And I'm thinking maybe we should come up with a cocktail. You can win $5,000 as the first prize. Wow. So maybe if you guys have any ideas, you could send them to me. And we could try to whip up some Snoop Dogg strawberry flavored gin cocktails. And we could win some money maybe. That would be cool. That would be super cool. I don't know. It'd be fun. But look at this cooler, Judy. Look at this thing. <laughs> Isn't that great? I don't know if you can you see it? Uh not yet. <laughs> I'll take a sip of my cerveza until that comes up. There we go. <laughs> Anyways, there's this cooler called a I don't know if it's saying right, Kubi Cooler, C-U-B-I. I saw it okay. on actually Heather's Facebook page this afternoon. Oh, it's super cute. Wow, it takes that long to, for you to see it. Now I get it, okay. Yeah. <laughs> but it's got the little feet, and you put your box wine in there. It's got the glasses on the side, a little spigot. Very nice. And that's at Kubi, C-U-B-I, coolstore.com. It's 70 bucks. Nice. Merry dog. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> but that's cute as hell. And now this doesn't mean much down here, but where I'm from in Western New York, near Buffalo and Rochester, New York, we have a favorite beer. It's Labatt Blue. And okay. Blue Light, which is actually my favorite, it's the light version of Labatt Blue, has come out with Seltzer lemonades, yay! More ready to drink seltzer lemonades. We got peach lemonade, raspberry, and black cherry. So, more seltzers, seltzers more seltzers, seltzers everywhere. Even Bacardi, Bacardi got in the game. You know, I thought Bacardi was just rum, yeah, but apparently, they have. Their very first vodka infused, ready to drink, 100 calorie spritz. They're calling these things spritz. And they have mm. no artificial flavors. They're infused with natural flavors and sparkling water. They've got okay. peach, peach lemon and cucumber spritzes. So maybe if we could get our paws on one, we might like that. It's a cute little can. <laughs> it's, cute. it's kind of feminine looking, you know? Yeah. Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Kevin says, hola. Thank you so much for the cerveza yesterday, Kevin. He bought me a beer that was very nice. Nice. A Corona light. Oh, nice. So those are my two really cool contests. But before we make a margarita, I just found out right before we went on on air tonight, I have like one thing, like what's the thing if you're in, you're in jail, pretend you have to go to jail and you're on death row. 
Oh my gosh. I don't, it's terrible, but they say, Judy, you can have one more thing to eat. What would it be? Oh my gosh. Um, prime rib? Prime rib? <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, in my world, it would be pretzels. Pretzels. <laughs> I, I, I love, pre I can't live without pretzels. God. Okay. Especially if there's a good ranch and I can dip it in the ranch, even mm. better. And it's a tie with cheese and crackers and ranch, or I mean, <laughs> cheese and crackers and pretzels, but... Lila said hers would be an all-you-can-eat raw bar. <laughs> <laughs> you guys. She, she's on the same page as me. I was thinking dinner, not something, you know, munchy or sweet. <laughs> I, hey, what what would you guys' last thing be? You're on death row. What is the last thing you want to eat? I got to know. But until you let me know this. So pretzels is my thing. I mean, the pretzel rods, the sourdough. Any type of pretzel, anything, as long as it's got the salt. If there's no salt on it, I'm, I'm throwing it out the window of the car. I'm serious. Out the window. I don't know. Your little pretzel cinnamon sugar bites at the gin mill are pretty darn great. They are. But <laughs> I just went, I talked to my food purveyor this afternoon, and Snyder's pretzels, you know, Snyder's of Hanover? Yes. They can't make any more pretzels. What? There's a pretzel shortage now. What, 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 why? <laughs> it's just everything streaming down the line, you know? Hi, Dana, how are you? It's, this, it's the employee shortage. They're not able to keep running things. Employees, um, the truckers can't get them stuff to make the pretzels. They don't have the glue to glue the top of the pretzel bag together. The darn glue. <laughs> it's all about the glue, the pretzels, the employees. So now, Snyder's Pretzels has a shortage. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh, my goodness. You better buy up all the pretzels you can. Hoard it like toilet paper. <laughs> Robin says lasagna. Ooh, that's a good one. That's a real good one. I, I, I think if I was thinking more of meals like you guys, I would have gone crab legs. Oh, see, I knew you would have gone with something good. But I always say, I put that, I, I love the white cheese, not the yellow cheese, the white extra sharp cheddar with a Triscuit. And every time I put it in my mouth, I say, if this was my last meal, I would want this. Ooh, yum. Ooh, what's this? Sandy says, try Utz pretzels. Well, I think they sell those at Publix. I think Utz is from Pennsylvania, right? I'm not sure where they're from. Kevin says his last meal would be stuffed shells. That's a good one, too. That's really, that's really good. And Lila says you better go to Sam's and stock up. <laughs> I just bought a pretzel bag the other day. Every single pretzel I took out had no salt. I threw it. Just threw oh, it no. <laughs> Yuck. But listen, we need to make a margarita, you guys. Okay. So... I'm not getting fancy and infusing it with basil and jalapeno and all that stuff, you know? Okay. I'm going to make a simple, you can do this at your house, because many people are still staying home, a normal margarita that even my mom can make it so simple. Okay. The only thing we're doing, we're twisting it up a little and we're making this a premium margarita, which in the bar world we call a Cadillac margarita because it's the best, you know? Okay. So it's just better quality products, a little better alcohols. So it's going to cost more if you order this somewhere. So. And are we using a silver tequila or a gold? Well, I didn't have many options here at my studio bar. I did happen to find our Jonas Brothers Villa One Anejo Tequila. Okay. Anejo is a gold, oh, right? right? Yes. This is the good one. This good. is the, the, the Mac Daddy. Thank you, Mick Jonas, for this. Yes. So real simple. I'm not even measuring this because I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. So just put in a shot and a quarter of your tequila. Maybe I did a little bit too much. 
And then it's, instead of the regular margarita, you're gonna use triple sec, but in a Cadillac, you're gonna use Grand Marnier. Mm. So you put in a little Grand Marnier, sweet and sour mix, any old one will do, it really doesn't matter. There's nothing good or bad about any sour mix you buy anywhere. And then the best thing to do, in my opinion, is get yourself one of these squeezer things, okay? Yeah. yeah. And stick it in, just like so, and squeeze fresh lime right in there. You don't have to buy that store-bought stuff, you know? Oh, okay. yum. Yeah. It's a little hard on the muscles, but you can see I'm getting some really good, real good lime juice in there, okay? Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the best margarita recipes do say fresh lime and fresh lemon. Then you don't even need the sweet and sour. Absolutely. I mean, there's some really good sweet and sour mixes and lime mixes out there, but, you know. And always smile when you're mixing with your guests and always put your glass away so you don't hit anybody. That's right. That's right. Okay. What I did forget to do, which is very simple, is salt my glass. Because you've got to have salt on a margarita. I'm sorry. I so agree. You could do half the glass like lots of places do, but I want the full salt effect. And oh, yeah. Out. All of it. <laughs> Just like my pretzels. Salt your glass. You want to use lime. Don't use anything else. Don't use water. So then you get a nice salted rim. Yum, yum, yum. Mm. Okay. And then just simply pour, because I, I like mine on the rocks. Simply pour it in your glass. I know I loved you. Oh, yes, Robin. Absolutely. Okay. Take your pinwheel. Stick it right here. Voila. And, and drink that bad boy. <laughs> I was at Natalie's margarita juice. That's good, Kevin. Very good. So this is it. This is a golden margarita. It's not, I mean, it's a Cadillac margarita, excuse me. It's not golden because that would be Cuervo gold, but I am using a better tequila. So it's along the same lines. So this is yeah. Cadillac margarita and it is delicious. Let me just give it a quick sip. Oh my God. That's really good. And a lot of people in Florida like to do a dash of orange juice in their margarita makes it even better. I didn't want to do yeah. it with everybody, but I do like a little margarita or a little orange juice in my margarita. Me too. Just a, just like a half a shot. Absolutely. You know? But that's so simple. It's a nice margarita. And you guys, let's go out this Wednesday and break that record of 127 million liters of tequila that will be drank this Wednesday. And when you're out there, be nice to your servers and tip well. They're all short staff. Yes. And don't forget, go to your Snapchat filter, put your taco head on, and send it to us here at MD's Jindal channel so we can post some pictures and show everybody. Yes. So that's about it, you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. And have a great Cinco de Mayo. Don't forget, this Sunday is Mother's Day. Be nice to your moms. Go get mimosas on that day. Happy Mother's Day, Judy, to you and to my mom and all the other moms out there. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day to MD's mom and all the moms out there. Yay. And thank you for joining us, everybody. Have a great week and cheers. Cheers.